Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. And a chance here now to look at the rookie race. Never too soon to see how some of the fresh faces in the league are holding up. We've got quite a few youngsters looking to put their name in the front of the Rookie of the Year race. He's a ways down the ladder if the award was given out today, but there's still time in this season for him. And, and to be there among the top ten of this very talented rookie class really says a lot about his potential. Yep, and there's a lot of competition for the ROI this season. Rookie of the Year, folks, if you're not keeping up. And as early as it is, you know, he's got plenty of time to put himself right in the middle of the running. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. We've got Flash. Is it out there with Powell? And it's Dudley in at the point. And for the Knicks, we've got Baddest one. Sanders is out there with Boomer. Then there's Burke. And it's Tavares in at the five. Now here's Sanders. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the whistle. That goes on Flash. That is his first foul of the game. Like right around the halfway mark and some players starting to feel a little bit beat up uh, taking those bumps and bruises is it hard to decide which injuries to play through versus the ones that make you sit and miss a game you know i don't think so if you're a younger player it may be a little more difficult but as you've spent time in the league you know your body you understand what's an ache and a pain and something you can play with or an injury that really hampers you so i think as you mature in the league it becomes much easier to know what's an injury and what's something that you can work through. That word tolerance becomes very important. Yeah, and everybody's a little different in that regard, Kevin. Some guys have a high tolerance, others have a low or moderate. But again, it's about knowing your body. Now here's Dudley. 11 points last game. Powell with it. Now defended by Sanders. The shot by Powell, no good. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. And the call will be against primetime. That's his first foul. The 76ers making a switch here. Endor is checked in. Endor. We play just over a minute here in the first. Now here's Burke. D right on him. Shot clock at six. New York needs to get off a shot. Sanders inside. Pass to Tavares. Back to Sanders for the three. Hits it from three-point range. Sanders has got the first bucket of the night. A three-pointer for the Knicks. Zero. Now here's Dudley. He's covered closely. Launches a three. Endor with the bucket. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Sanders. And the pass to Tavares. Here's Christopher. Shot on the wing. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Well, some very valuable players right here. Big men who can create turnovers for their teammates inside. These are the power forwards and centers with the most assists in the past month. And here is Dudley. 
three-pointer. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Looking at the Knicks, they want to turn it around after the loss to Washington. Pass to Tavares. They get a hand on it. And here on the first, approaching three minutes played, passes it to Dudley. Puts up a three, bangs home the trifecta. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Knicks trail by three. Here's Tavares. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Wizards in Washington. Burt, the pass to Christopher. It's good. The assist that time from Burt. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Now here's Dudley. He's guarded close. Pass to Endor. Five on the clock. Lets it go with a three. Philadelphia with a new shot clock. The pass to the Wizard. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. The 76ers shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. First free throw is good for the Knicks. Daniels, he's checked in for Sanders. Person comes in for Burke. And AI is subbed in for baddest one. Big Daddy's checked in for the 76ers. And he makes both free throws. Clark, you know, some players just don't need a lot of rest. They could play basketball all day, every day, and don't want to be taken out. They've all got a lot of engine in them. Yeah, they do. 24-7 guys, we call them. They don't need <laughs> a lot of fuel, and it seems like they never are out of fuel. Guys like um, Paul George and Russell Westbrook come to mind. Mm -hmm. Here's Endor. He kicks it to Dudley. Passes it to the Wizard. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. There's 138 left to play in the first. Pass to McDaniels. From the arc. The shot, no good. Now the 76ers with it. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Andor, the pass to the Wizard. Kicks it to Dudley. Over to the wing. Shoots the three. And the three ball is good. Oh, great ball movement there. 105 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Tavares. He's guarded by Dudley. McDaniels passes to Tavares. A three-pointer is right on target. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Here's the Wizard. It's rebounded by New York. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. And, you know, one of the things about missing free throws is not only are you not getting points yourself, but it allows the other team to maintain momentum or keep a rally going. Now here's Dudley. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Here's the Wizard. It's good. The Wizards got his second bucket tonight. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. AI with it. Jacks up a three. Oh, and he nails it 
just in time. One eye on the rim, one on the clock. What a play. An ideal way to end the quarter with momentum on your side. And we reach the end of the first quarter. 76ers ahead, leading by four. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And uh, guys, what's, uh, what's your take so far in Philadelphia? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. Philadelphia leading by four. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, they've got Big Dog. Big Daddy is out there with Flash, and it's prime time. And it's Dudley in at the one. Here's Tavares. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. And now, a look at the upcoming schedule for the 76ers. On Sunday, they'll head back home to host the Miami Heat. And then on Saturday... And it's the Knicks with the ball. Pass to Person. Six to shoot. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And now let's take a look at the number of second chance points these teams have had over the last month. These guys never give up on a possession. Fifth on the list, the 76ers. They have been aggressive underneath. I mean, they're playing with a physicality that you don't often see, and it's led to a lot of second-chance points. Here's Dudley, and rejection by McDaniels. Now Dudley, poked away, stolen by McDaniels, and here comes the break. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Another thing they've been able to really get going so far tonight two. has been the three ball, the long-range shooting. That free throw, no good. Clark, we're seeing a lot of shooters drawing contact. Uh, they have that art form down. They know exactly what to do and how to position their bodies, don't they? Yeah, they really do, Kevin. And I don't know if anybody's any better than James Harden, in part because he's so skilled with the ball, but he's a really thick, strong, agile guard, which makes him hard to defend without fouling him. And he's really developed that ability to seek contact in a legal manner. And I don't think anybody does it any better than him. Philadelphia leading by three. The pass to Pop from outside the arc. And no good that time. So New York will take it the other way. And this is the first season matchup for them against this 76ers team. And they really took care of business against this group last year, winning the season series. Exactly. Two top teams in the conference. They want to continue that success this season as they look long-term towards playoff seed. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. 76ers have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Passes it to Big Daddy. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Offensive rebound. Big dog. Banked in off the glass. And the 76ers lead by five. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. AI kicks to Tavares. Just five on the clock. To the right side. Here's the three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, 
but with a purpose. So they knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. Well, it really showed the trust they have in one another. I love how they got after it, and you could feel that they were playing for each other. Next trail by seven. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Beyond the arc. Knocks down the three ball. Tavares has got his third basket of the night. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. ones checked in for New York. And a moment now to see the stats for Powell. Some last season stats for him. 12th in shooting percentage. And with that effortless stroke, he climbed all the way to the top 15 in three-point percentage. And as you said, one of the more efficient scorers in the league last season. He showed great shot selection, terrific efficiency. And more often than not, he got it in there. He's guarded by A.I. Pass to Big Dog. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And let's take this opportunity to show you the shooting guards with the highest percentage from the floor over the last month. You take a look at Powell, fourth in the league and as consistent as they come. You know, just ask this group. Sometimes when you're hot, you're hot. And it's a comforting feeling for a coach to know you've got one of those guys roaming on the perimeter. And not only can they light it up from the perimeter, Greg, but they get their buckets getting to the rim as well. I mean, aggressive moves to the basket are always going to help your shooting percentage. you got to get some easy ones to shoot a high percentage. The Knicks shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Yeah, they shot their free throws at a measly 73% clip over the course of last season. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Clark, you were such a terrific athlete growing up, and it must be fun for you watching your kids and soon your grandkids go through their athletic journeys. It really is one of the great blessings and treats of my life to see our kids grow and develop as people, but also to enjoy different sports. Our boys played basketball and soccer, and our daughter played volleyball, all played in college at some level. And so it is great. Anytime you see your kids find their lane, enjoy running in it, and do well in that lane, it's uh, joy indescribable. Here's Endor for three. No good that time. AI outside. Burke with the bounce pass. AI dishes to Burke. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Boomer, he's checked in for McDaniels. Now here's Paul. He's guarded by AI. Right wing. Clock at six. 
Another miss by Philadelphia. And it's Burke with the ball for the Knicks. Only given up six here in this quarter. Can't get it to go. He's taken two and missed two. Now here's Powell. He's guarded closely. Pass to Endor. The three. The 76ers with another miss. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Back to Burke. Fires the three. The shot will not fall. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Inside. Here's the Wizard. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. The Wizards got eight points. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now, here's Burke. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I, I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Yeah, I mean, test the hot hand. You're exactly right. I say let those triples fly. Cloak loose, and the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. It's tipped, so it's the Knicks now. Knicks trail by three. AI outside. The pass to Richards. Here's Christopher. Let's it go. Buries the jump shot. Baddest one's got his second bucket of the night. Well, I like how quickly he threw the bounce pass there. Hard to defend against that. From deep three-point range, and the last second attempt does not go in for him. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. 76ers lead by one, and we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, can't tell you... Uh how how much it means to us to have you back with us on the uh, halftime show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, uh, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. means the world, world, doesn't it? Yes, exactly. yeah. Right out of the gates, it was Philadelphia setting the tone. They were able to stretch out their lead to eight points on the heels of a few stops and some quality offensive possessions. Things started to even out as the quarter progressed as their lead was cut to just one by the end of the first. Then in the second quarter, they cooled down just a bit, giving away some of their advantage, but still finished up one at the half. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, they've been rewarded for dumping the ball inside, keeping the defense honest. You have to mix it up. A little bit outside, a little bit inside. Now that separates teams. And Shaq. What are your thoughts on New York? Well, their reserves haven't contributed much. The fine Asher's taught us to do that with them. Don't leave them out in the cold. I think this could easily become a bigger issue as the game goes on. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. The 76ers lead it. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. And New York looking at who they've got. Sanders is out there with Burke. Then there's Baddest one. And it's Boomer. And it's Tavares in at the point. And here are the Knicks now. Philadelphia able to drain the three. Rebounded by Dudley. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Another three for Philadelphia. 
Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooter. Burke, the pass to Richards. Now, here's Sanders. Here's Tavares. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Tavares has got 12 points in the game. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Pass break. Here we go. He lobs it up. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Pass to flash. It's Powell on the wing. From the arc, shot clock at five. Another three for Philadelphia. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land, giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Shot is good in the 76ers. Lead is cut down now to just three on the basket from Tavares. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Powell for three, cans it from downtown. Powell's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for Philadelphia. Here's Burke. And again, New York with the triple. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Dudley and the 76ers tack on two more. And a nice spark for their offense here in the second half. Now above 50% for the game. And, you know, guys, that kind of offensive efficiency really keeps a lot of pressure on the opponent, and that's part of why the lead is what it is. Now here's Dudley. He's got eight. Here's Flash. Back to Dudley. The 76ers need to get off a shot. The shot by Powell, no good. Knicks trail by five. Here's Tavares. He's got 14. Pass to Christopher. The Knicks shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. A different look for New York. McDaniels comes in for Boom. And Person subbed in for Burke. That one is no good. The 76ers leading by four. And it's Sanders with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Knicks making a change here. AI has checked in. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Stolen. Here's Tavares. 14 points for him. Pass to Person. The feed to McDaniels. Five to shoot. Here's AI. Rebounded by Flash. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yes, yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. The pass to Endor. On deep. And Big Daddy picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Knicks trail by four. McDaniels passes to Person. 
Here's Tavares. No good on that one. Now the 76ers take it the other way. They'll be playing host to Miami for their next game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Andor, the pass to Big Daddy. Passes it to Endor. From deep three-point range, an absolute bomb from three-point range. Endor's got six. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line, not to it. Keep the pressure on. Here's Flash. Pass to Big Dog. There's the triple. Another three for Philadelphia. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Pass to Person. Floats one up, and it's good on the way in. Person's got his first points in this one. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Here's Flash. He's covered by Person. Here's Flash. Another three for Philadelphia. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. And so it's Philadelphia. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. Back right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Well, clearly he's the guy that stirs the drink for him, and that's how he does it, with his dynamite passing skills. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Knicks trail by 11. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. They've got Big Daddy. He's out there with Flash. And it's Big Dog at the center position. Here's Tavares. Here's AI. And a miss there on the triple. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough, but that's how you win games. Here's Tavares. And he lobs it up toward the rim. That's good, and the 76ers' lead is cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Sanders. Worked that one inside nicely. Timeout called the 76ers. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout.
Davies checked in for McDaniels. Burt comes in for Person. And Battis one subbed in for AI. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said, this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. We'll see if they were listening. Guys? All right, thank you, David. Here's Tavares. And there's the pass for Christopher. Out left to the wing. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. The fadeaway. Flash misses. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. And here's Sanders to the left side wing. Here's Tavares. Trains it from beyond the arc. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Dudley the pass to the wizard. Here's Flash. Passes to the wizard. They find Jay on the way. And Sanders pulls it down. Knicks trail by 11. Christopher the pass to Sanders. And Sanders throws it down. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, at the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two hand. Sanders with the steal. Burke looking over the floor. Pass to Christopher. Here's Tavares. Poked away. Stolen by Dudley. Pass to Flash. Dudley with it. Sweet little floater. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. And that one's good. Perk. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. So the wing on the left. Here's the Wizard. He can't get it to go. Knicks trail by eight. And the pass to Tavares. The dish now to Sanders. And Sanders throws it down. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that, and now we've got ourselves a ball game. Bradley the pass to Flash. For three. Another three for Philadelphia. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They trail by nine. And there's a minute 45 left here in the fourth quarter. Our Jordan player of the game. And his shooting percentage reflects just how efficient he's been. It's better than 50%. Always a sign of a solid offensive performance. 
but his movement and his shot selection have also both been tremendous. If he could only contribute like this for them every night, you can't overstate how much better it makes this team when he has a game like this. And on the road, no less. Bradley finds Powell. It's tipped. Here's Christopher, guarded by Powell. Passes it to Christopher. Now Burke. Here's Tavares. Connects from three-point range. Tavares has got 11 in the second half. That's a nice play. Getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. And Dudley kicks to Powell. Pass to the Wizard. Charity swipe shot. They get it back. Pass to Flash. Now here's Powell. Sanders covering. Not going to go that time. Here's Burke. Rebounded by Flash. And here is Powell. So Philadelphia wins it. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.